Bob, you know, it's nice to lie down at night and fall asleep just like that. However, pillows can be one of the biggest things that can make that happen. So we're going to go through a number of pillow options that can make a big difference in you and I falling asleep. And we're going to go right to it. So what do you say, Bob? You'll want to check it out. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Okay, first thing, let's talk about sleeping on your side. We're going to cover sleeping on your back as well, so just hold right. on. Uh, we're going to go to the basics. So, All right, sounds Bob, good. Yeah, you want to lie down, Bob? Sure. So On my side? Yep, on your side. Now, if you've got a thin pillow, which oftentimes we recommend, and you'll see why we're sleeping on your back, but one pillow may on, not be on enough. On my side is not enough. Look at my neck. It's cricked. Yep, his head is angled down. We want to get it level with the spine. So there's a couple options. You know, Bob could fold a pillow up like that, or you could use two pillows like and that. That's what I normally do is two yep. pillows. Yep, and, and that's up to you. What works better for you? Uh, the next thing that can be really helpful lying on your side is to have a little neck support. You know, let's use this one so you can see this. And what you can do... You can use a rolled towel and roll it up. Now, this one's too short. You'd have to roll it up so it was a wider towel. Uh, also, we actually prefer, this is simply a sock with some rice in it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think this one's got some like uh, something else, a soft material, but rice works well. You put it in there, and it just takes that gap right between the shoulder and the ear. And it adds support there. It molds w really well to the area. Yep. And that's one of those things that you put it in there, it should feel good right away. I've had people with neck pain really be happy you with actually these. actually could heat up the rice. Yes. Before yep. putting it in place. Don't heat it up too much. Yeah. You know, 30 seconds to a minute at the most, depending on your microwave. Right. Now, if you really like that, you can just stick that inside your pillowcase. So it doesn't roll right. around, and once you get it in there, the the other thing is you can buy a cervical roll. This is a McKinsey cervical roll, and that's what they're made for, and right. they they do work well as as well. But uh, you know, obviously, you can try this. You could probably have some rice, and it'd be a lot cheaper to do this and that. But whatever works out best for you. And again, this I always have my patients say, tuck it in your pillowcase so that it's convenient and it stays where it's supposed to. And, and then if you lie on your lay in your back, it also feels good. Yes, exactly. It also fits into the gap. Yeah, you typically want to get it down lower to right. your shoulders, and you'll know because it feels good and like good support. All right, Bob, let's what go about to shoulder pain, Brad. Let's talk about. It oh quick. yes, yes. So if you have a painful shoulder, and we don't want you to lay on it if you can avoid it, but what helps me, and I do this every night, is I take a throw pillow. And make my tunnel, my little canal. Canal. So, yeah, you'll know because if you lie on your shoulder and you wake up and your shoulder hurts because you're lying on it, you really need to do something like this. So now I'm taking the pressure here on my rib cage and, and chest and my head instead of on the shoulder. Right. Makes a big difference. Ideally, you don't lay on the bad shoulder, but if you, you right. have to, go but on. Yeah, that way. and we've got an option to help you with that as well right. coming up. Lay back down there, Bob, once. Okay. The other thing that really helps if you are you know, have this to protect this shoulder, you might want to put a pillow here, um, two possibly, right. <laughs> put a lot of pillows, and that can allow you to be more comfortable for this if, shoulder. Yeah, if this shoulder is the painful one, you want to use two pillows and, and hug them. Right. People with rotator cuff injuries, I've had this be really successful with. Really makes a difference. All right. Okay, Bob. Next one. Ah, you want to lie down again? Sure. I'm okay. back. Yeah. No, on your side. We've we got one more thing to talk about. Two more things to talk about on the side is the pillow between the knees. And right. that can make a big difference on your hips and knees and even the back a little bit. And uh, you have a special pillow at home for this, don't you? Just a small one that works really well. Yep, yep. Doesn't overheat. Yep. Now, this next thing I'm pretty excited about, Bob. Why don't you sit All up right. now? We have a pillow that uh, huh. takes care of everything. 
And it, all in one. Yeah, look at this baby. Yeah. <laughs> now, what What are you gonna do with that? Well, I ran into this. It's a long story, but I finally tried it, and I thought this is something I need to experiment with. So you lie it down on your bed like this, and you get on there, and actually, it's called the Ensign Pregnancy Pillow. Sure. But my sister used Brad, it. Brad, she's something fifty-two. To tell me. Yeah. <laughs> no, my sister used it. She's fifty-two. She's not pregnant. Right. She really enjoyed it. Sure. And I said, "Let me give it a try." So what you do is you lie on here, on your side, and they automatically have the knee cushion, which feels good, and it's it's not going to fall out because it's all connected. Right. You have one for your head. Okay, and this is here for this arm, or you could put one more pillow in there if you wanted right. to. And you can kind of snuggle right up, and it goes along your back, supports your back. And so if you have a painful shoulder here, it prevents you from rolling over to your left side. And I thought the first night I slept on this, I wasn't going to be happy because I need to sleep on my back for part right. of the night. And it works out all right there. You could just lay like this. And I did this in my sleep and I woke up and I'm, I'm like this and I'm comfortable. And then I could go back to this side and it worked well. Now this so is- So again, you can't roll uh, to the other side. Right. That, that yep. option has been taken off the, hit, the table. Yeah. So if I had a left shoulder that was painful, this would be ideal. Right. It'd keep right. you it from- It force you. Yep. Right. So I don't know. This is one of those things, it, it's new. Uh, for what it's worth. Yeah, for what it's worth, there's an option out there. I can't guarantee you're going to be have success with it, but I thought it was a really neat idea. Now let's talk about lying on your back. Right. Uh, you want to lie down, Bob? Sure. Because this is, the concepts are pretty similar to what we have been talking about. Typically, one pillow and a thinner pillow works right. best for the majority. Because look what would happen if I had two pillows. Yeah, let's put, you know, head's way too high. Yep. He's going to have neck problems, going right. to have headaches, have all kinds of problems. So one low pillow, and you can do the same thing with the support or the cervical roll that's going to go under here. And fill the gap in the gap. Yeah. And if it's too big, like on this, you just simply take some of the rice out, right. rearrange it, adjust it so it feels like good support. Uh, and again, <laughs> putting those inside the pillowcase so they stay put. And again, you can heat it up if you want. Yeah, which is a really neat idea. And they hold their heat for quite a long time. Yeah, they do. The and rice they does. It smells good. <laughs> it smells like rice. Uh, you can also use right. the, the memory. Did, did we, did we no, cover we the... No, we talk about it. Oh, oh, son of a gun. We missed yeah. it. So these memory pillows, you know, they have, they're the memory foam. So they sink in slow. And I've never... This is my wife. She likes it. Right. I personally don't. And your daughter had really she, good success yeah, with it. Yeah, it took her a while to find one that yeah. fit her. That's the big problem yeah. is finding one that fits yeah. and feels right. The whole idea is that you have this valley, and it kind of takes the place of that little f cervical roll. That actually feels pretty good. And it takes a little off of your head and neck to sink way, into it. Okay. Oh, how was that, Bob? Not bad, actually. Yeah. It looks like you got some pretty good alignment there. Yeah. So these memory uh, rolls or pillows with memory this foam. contour can be a really good option. Again, it's kind of a personal thing, Bob. Yeah. But they're pillows are personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. All right. Uh, All right. Oh, there's one more thing on the back, Bob. This can be particularly people with knee problems, hips, or a back problem, and that is get the pillow underneath your head. Like that, and then if you lay one or two pillows under your knees, there, and that can be comfortable. Right. And the number of pillows and where you put them is up to you, so you adjust them. Um, one thing Bob and I have found worked really well with us as well as our patients is a leg wedge like that, and it always, almost always feels better than right. pillows. But, you know, you can use pillows, uh, see if that happens, and if... Uh, you want to purchase one of these, that's up to you. But otherwise, use your pillows, and you'll know, because as soon as you put them under there, it's going to feel like, oh, this is the right You're thing to do. You're going to have to experiment to find yep. out what works for you. Absolutely. So uh, there's a lot of options to make your sleeping night a much more comfortable experience, and, uh, and you'll be grateful, won't you? don't you think, Bob? I would assume yes. Wow, I can't wait. I gotta get that C pillow out again. I don't. They should just call it the C pillow. It looks like a big C. Look at that. Beauty. Right. 
See you. <laughs> See. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs>